Hey guys, I know a lot of you know about the legendary free 430 haul last summer, but uh, this is the one with the Onan. I've never worked on this one yet. So I'm just kind of looking at it. It's supposed to snow this afternoon, but I just figured I'd check this out for a little bit. But you know, we've got the Onan engine back here. The key switch is totally shot. Like, uh, oh, it actually turns, but um, it's no good. So I've got a new key switch to put in there. It's got a solenoid in there. Who knows if it works, but um, what I'm going to do is change out that key switch and take off the hood here. I don't have any screws on the hood, so it should come right off. Let's see. There's this cool old Exide battery here from like 1992. <laughs> which is mint. There's some gas in the tank here which is kind of varnishy. It smells real nice. But uh, yeah, so again, this wiring is screwed just like every tractor I get. The wiring is no good. So uh, we're going to remove this uh, key switch and uh, let me see if I can get this plug off. You guys are going to laugh at this. Uh, I don't even think I can get the plug off. The whole uh, column here is loose, but anyway, let's see if we can look in there. It's so rusted where the plug goes into the key switch that, like, the terminals on the plug are pretty much disintegrated. So I think I'm just going to have to cut all the wires that feed the switch and uh, basically just put new ends on them all, which is what I expected to do. Even the fuel line is rusty. I never seen such a bad fuel line. That thing's pretty shot, but so chances are the solenoid is no good. In fact, I can almost guarantee it's no good. Uh, but that's what we're up against. And then uh, the engine is free; it does turn over, so who knows? Give it a shot. Well, this is the key switch. <laughs> it's pretty good, huh? I can't believe it actually turned. That's pretty amazing to me, but anyways, uh, I got a new key switch, so I'm going to put that in and uh, we'll see what happens. Well, I took out the solenoid and it looks like a piece of crap, but I uh, bench tested it and it works. I'm really impressed about that. So uh, what I'm doing here is I'm making a new wire to feed the key switch and I get these ring terminals here, which will go right on the solenoid. The old one, uh, that that wire hooked up to the battery, which I think is a, is a weak design, so this way it'll hook right up to the solenoid and it'll get power from that. So what I'm going to do is uh, hook these wires back together and uh, try to see if we can turn over the motor. Yeah, so this battery is awesome. Look at the post, is like pulled right out of the top. I ended up just cutting the wire right off because this thing is worthless anyways. Um, so here's the smart thing of the day. So I cut all the wires off the the old uh, key switch. Tried to use the continuity tester to figure out where they go. And let's see, here's the plug. This idiot had a green wire go into the S terminal, which is what should be the solenoid. Well, where does the other side of this green wire run? Hmm. It runs right to ground, right back here to ground. Now, why would some idiot hook a ground wire to the S-terminal? The S-terminal was hooked up to the I-terminal for ignition. So for now, I just basically crimped some ends on there, made some makeshift wires. I'm going to hook up my booster pack to it and hit the key and see if I can just at least get the starter to turn over. And then we'll trace the wires for the ignition module next. But uh, it never ceases to amaze me how every tractor I get up has screwed up wiring in it. And these people are morons. Anyways, let's see what we can do. All right, I got my uh, jumper pack here, which I'm going to energize. And uh, I got some rigged up cables. Let's see. I hit the key and I got nothing. So I have a feeling that I got a bad connection here to my wire. Let's try it again. Uh, all right, guys, so here's the deal. My solenoid's working. If I take my voltmeter here and hold it on the 
terminal coming out of the solenoid, it goes up to 12 volts. I can't do it while I'm holding the camera. Uh, it could mean I have a bad ground on the solenoid. That is a possibility because uh, I'm using the ground up here. So I guess if I really wanted to test it, I can take my probe and hold the ground somewhere else. Maybe I'll try that. Now my solenoid is definitely not grounding. I tried hooking the negative right up to the bolt that mounts to the solenoid. So I think what I'm going to do is take out the solenoid and try to clean some of the rust off of the mount where it holds onto the frame and see if I can get a better uh, connection to ground. Because I uh, definitely don't have any grounding there. Uh, I think that's the problem. Now here's the base of the old solenoid. It is pretty rusty and crappy so I'm going to take this to my uh, wire wheel here and just uh, try to clean it up a little bit and then we'll see if maybe we get a, a ground on this stupid thing. Alright. Now I cleaned it up nice and shiny. I even cleaned up the copper lugs there. Uh, I'm going to try my redneck bench testing here again which uh, I think you guys have seen this before. Uh, basically we're just going to take our battery charger if I can find the wires and what we'll do is uh, we'll hook up the ground to the ground and we will hook up the positive to one of the positives and we will plug in our charger and then all we need to do is run a jumper wire to the top of the solenoid down to one of those things so I got here kind of a rigged up jumper wire. I don't think I can do this one-handed. Let's see. This wire will go say over here and then uh, we'll touch this to the top and see if what happens. It works. You can hear it working. So the solenoid is good. I have a feeling we just weren't getting a ground out there, so we'll go hook it up again and uh, see if we got some ground. Now I was able to narrow down that the ground connection to the frame was no good, so I took that wire off and I cleaned up the terminal. I'm just going to bolt it right on to where the solenoid is for now, just as a test purpose only, and uh, we'll give it a shot. All right, so I got that thing hooked up now. I'm going to hit the key. Let's see what happens. Ooh, the starter turned a little bit. I think the starter connection's probably crap too, so we'll go back to that. This is my connection on the starter, which is uh, pretty awesome, huh? <laughs> so I think I'm going to take that off and try to clean that wire up a little bit also. And uh, then we'll hit that key again and see what happens. I'm going to take the spark plug out too to relieve a little bit of compression. I love these things. The Onan NB. Sweet. Now I cleaned up that connection down there and I'm going to hit the key again. I took out the spark plug. We'll see what happens. Damn, stuck. I'll see if I can spin the motor over here a little bit. Oh, it seems to be jammed up. Let's see what I can do. So, I think we got a mouse nest in this engine. <laughs> Holy shit, look at that. Oh my god. I think this needs the backpack blower. Oh, the starter stuck up. Oh, that's not cool. The wire for the ignition is in the ring gear. Let me see if I can get this starter to go down. Looks like the Bendix drive on the starter is shot. Probably going to have to take this off and... Uh, clean it up on a bench because it don't want to go down it's definitely stuck up but the motor's turning over freely which is good so we'll see if we can take that starter off and uh, work on oh the Bendix just went down probably needs a bunch of oil in there the freaking mouse nest is all in the teeth and the ring gear but, uh, let's hit that key again and see what happens Well guys, it started snowing, so I'm going to have to wrap this up, but look, I got the uh, thing out, and we'll see what happens if I hit the key. Started working. Yeah, baby. Well, 
I have to test the ignition when it stops snowing a couple days. But, uh, yeah, pretty good, huh? I should take my backpack blower and just blow all that mouse nest crap out of that thing. And uh, that'd probably be a good idea, but that's pretty funny, huh? All right, guys, we'll see you at the next part of this. Who knows when that's going to be, but uh, someday we'll be back in business here. I really want to test the ignition module. That's next on my list. I'm dying to know if it works, but it's snowing, and I'm going to pack it in.